everybody. Welcome to a new uh, film on uh, magic. And this time it's not only about normal magic, like uh, conjurers uh, do, but it's uh, about also the magic of positive reinforcement. And not so many people know about the concept of positive reinforcement. It's about how to strengthen behavior that you want. The best way to do that is by positive reinforcement. You can also motivate people to do things that you want uh, by negative reinforcement. But that means that you force people to do things. And that's what, what we don't want because you don't get the maximum, but the minimum of behavior of other people and the minimum of performance. Because they avoid you or they flee from you. So if you want to bring out the best in people, then you have to use positive reinforcement. And uh, therefore, uh, my uh, uh, big teacher, my great teacher from uh, the United States, from Atlanta, is uh, Aubrey Daniels. He wrote this book, Bring Out the Best in People, How to Apply the Astonishing Power of Positive Reinforcement. And maybe you have seen my film already about the book test. I uh, know a lot of... Uh, uh, books of Daniels by heart and also by his teacher and also my teacher B.F. Skinner. We are behavior analysts and that means that we um, uh, base our work in organizations and in teaching on behavior analysis. And behavior analysis is a science of behavior. Uh, a lot of theories about human behavior exist, a lot of uh, theories about management exist but few of them are based on laboratory research. And as we know from uh, the natural sciences, uh, laboratory research is the best uh, reliable, valid way to gain knowledge. And although a lot of people have uh, ideas about human behavior and management, everyone probably has some ideas, some theories about uh, these subjects. Um, we stick to, Daniels and I stick to Skinner's work uh, that is uh, evidence-based. It's based on data, it's not based on uh, opinions. And therefore I was uh, more than willing to do a book test uh, with the books of Daniels and Skinner. You can look uh, to, them, to that uh, film uh, somewhere else in my uh, uh, channel. Um, but uh, today I want to give some more attention to this work of uh, Robert Daniels. And after the book test, uh, he saw this on uh, my video uh, uh, canal. Uh, he sent me immediately, he knows about positive reinforcement, he sent me immediately his newest book. His newest book, which he wrote with Darnell Latal. Darnell Latal uh, used to be the the president of Orbi Daniels International Company and uh, she's a, a lovely and a great scientist Gr a lovely woman, great woman and she also reinforced me a lot uh, by promoting me for the Cambridge Center for Behavioral Studies for example which I'm a trustee of and uh, also give uh, good recommendations to other people so thank you Darnell I also thank you for writing this book with Aubrey Daniels. Um, Life is a picnic. So this is a very a readable book for everyone who wants to know how to change behavior of their children, of their spouses, of their parents, of their colleagues, uh, of everyone they meet. And of course the same principle goes, it's positive reinforcement that maximizes performance. Although we are inclined to use negative reinforcement because it gives immediate results if we use punishment or negative reinforcement. For positive reinforcement you have to invest for the future. Uh, if you use positive reinforcement you will get uh, influence and uh, if you use negative reinforcement you get only power. And power leads to more punishment for yourself you negatively uh, approach other people. Okay, let's now uh, have a look whether I am able to remember all the words in this book. 
um, today I will uh, go to this book and uh, you have to say stop as a, as a, a viewer of this uh, video you have to say stop and then I stop on a certain page that you, uh, uh, what you say stop and then we go to the page on this book because if I see the page here then I see also the letters on that uh, page so we have to go to this book and then uh, I have to remember I hope the page of this book okay I hope this is uh, clear I hope you have now an understanding on uh, uh, or about positive reinforcement if you see my films and uh, you also see in the beginning and the end of the film that I uh, have a website mariaswiedek.nl and uh, the term uh, conditioning organizations organizational conditioning so uh, the theory of Pavlov, Skinner uh, uh, Daniels, uh, they uh, apply this in organizations. This conditioning theory, there, uh, therefore, we call it, uh, I call my book, which I wrote uh, in uh, Dutch, Organisaties Conditioneren. And I also uh, will, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm busy in translating that book into English, so that all of you can benefit from this science of behavior analysis applied in organizational settings so that people are not sad, uh, fearful or uh, angry anymore, but more happy because they uh, reach their goals uh, that are aligned with the goals of the organization. Okay, so this is a, le a lecture about uh, organizational behavior management, OBM, performance management also called, but let's now do the experiment. Uh, so I hope you will say uh, stop on a certain page on this book and then I will go to that page or not go to the page I will show you the words and then I you have to put them in your mind the first few uh, letters first word of uh, um, of the page um, and then I uh, so I will check whether that's okay. Right, um, please say stop. Stop, okay. Um, all right, uh, it's 52. I hope you can see it's 52. 52, yes. Okay, so now I have to remember the first no I go to 52 first but I go to 53 so that I cannot see the words on this side okay otherwise it's too easy 53 yes so please look at these words the first words of the page yes you have that in your mind okay then I close the book so 52 and I must uh, try to remember 52 it's uh, I just read uh, the book uh, 52 is uh, with halfway the book uh, so um, it's about more the fundamentals of this uh, this uh, science of behavior analysis and later on uh, he uh, and she put uh, emphasis on the uh, uh, on the application. Uh, so 52, I hope uh, please also send your uh, your uh, thinking to me so I can read your mind. Yeah, and I see, uh, I think it's, yeah, please focus on on the words, not on, on me or uh, on your environment where you are in now, so don't be distracted. Just, just focus on these words. Yes, can you do that? Okay. I think I got something, yeah. Vague. I think it's like... Uh, it really fits in this book. It's uh, science. Is that a word? Science and method. Science method, science method, 
scientific method maybe scientific method like that something like that it must be on page 52 scientific method I'm, I'm curious if I'm right if you we have this connection yeah if we have this mind reading connection is it correct 52 scientific method I thought that's it scientific laws yeah scientific laws well, scientific loss is even stronger. Um, well, I think I did pretty good. Cannot know everything by heart, of course, but scientific uh, laws. So these books, this is more appropriate for the work environment. Um, this is uh, bringing out the best in people in companies. A lot of uh, examples and people love this book. Really, they love this book. It, this is the newest edition, the third edition of 2016 um, from a Wiley, I think, or from McGraw Hill. Sorry, I must uh, have a look. One of those famous uh, publishers published this book. It's a McGraw Hill, McGraw Hill, third, third edition. If you want to know about behavioral change, about improving quality, quantity, decreasing absenteeism, as increasing safety. OBM, Organization Behavior Management, Performance Management also called, is the best way to do it. This is a good introduction for management, for colleagues, employees. This is for parents uh, more specific and the implications for society. Uh, so all the work of Robbie Daniels and his colleagues are, uh, are recommended. I got a lovely, so I'm a little bit of course conditioned by him also. I got a lovely uh, note from him in his book. Marius, thank you for all your work, including magic, to spread the word of behavior analysis and its effectiveness to the world. So that's very kind of him, sweet of him. And uh, so here I want to uh, to stop this uh, this lecture and this uh, book test. Uh, thank you very much for watching.